Hey everyone, my name is Jonah with Caldi's Coffee and today we are gonna be making some iced coffee using the Hario Switch. Now, we're calling this recipe a hybrid flash chill recipe because one, we're gonna be doing a flash chill, right? By putting some fresh ice in the bottom of our decanter here and then brewing coffee straight on top of it. But also because we are gonna be using the Hario Switch's unique ability to switch uh, in between percolation and immersion brewing. So we found from our testing that if you start with that percolation brewing method for your first pour, right, with the switch down, letting the coffee drain through, um, that it actually brings out a lot of really great acidity from the coffee. And then in the middle, after that first pour, switch up into immersion brewing, letting that coffee sit and steep and brew in that water uh, for about a minute, minute and a half, it brings out a lot of sweetness uh, in your final cup. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, rinse out my filter and then also preheat the Hario switch, not our decanter. Since there's gonna be ice in there, there's no point. Make sure that your switch is up so that it holds the water in here. Pop our filter in and then pour our water in. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit there for a little bit. I did wanna note though that I have my water set to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, just so you know. Okay, let's move on to the coffee that I'm using and the grind. So I'm using a coffee from Ethiopia. It's from the Yirgacheff region. It's a lighter roasted coffee, um, and it just has some really, really amazing fruit flavors like pink grapefruit. Um, and so this brewing method really, really highlights and brings out those flavors. For the grind, um, I've already got it ground here, but for the grind, you wanna go pretty fine for this. Um, you definitely wanna go finer than what you would do for your normal drip brewer at home, and also probably go a notch or two finer, whatever grinder you have. Um, than you would use for, for a regular V60 brewer. We're using the fellow Opus today, so I actually have this set to one notch above four on here, if you have that at home. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and empty this. And then I forgot the ice, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So we've got our ice, 150 grams. Pop this on here. Make sure the switch is down. And then pour in 20 grams of coffee. Okay, so now I'm gonna shake this to level out the bed and then also put just a small divot in here in the center. All right, so now we're gonna do our bloom. So we'll tear out our scale and then we're gonna pour in 50 grams for 45 seconds. Oh, almost. One gram over. All right, I'm gonna swirl this just to get everything nice and saturated. All right, so we are at 45 seconds. So now we're gonna add another 50 milliliters of water. Now, once we hit 100 grams on our scale, we'll wait until the one minute 30 mark. Okay, now we're gonna lock our switch and then immediately add 100 milliliters more of water. Bringing our total to 200 milliliters. Give this one last swirl. While we're waiting for this to hit the two minute 30 mark, I did wanna say that we're using a one to 10 coffee to water ratio for this, which is pretty tight. But since we're brewing on top of all of this ice, uh, we need to try to extract as much from the coffee as we possibly can. So we have hit the two minute 30 mark, so I'm gonna hit the switch and drop the coffee down. Now we want this brew to finish dripping between three minutes and three minutes 30. If it's gone you know, before that at like two minutes 45 or after that, it's probably something to do with your grind. So you might wanna go finer or coarser uh, to get between that three to three minutes 30 mark. That's three minutes 15, which is awesome. So we're gonna switch this up, any drippies off of here. And then we're gonna swirl our coffee and our ice together. And I've got a cup, so I'll be right back again. Sorry. All right, now we're good. That's really good. So the, like I said, it just has such a wonderful acidity to it, um, which is something that you don't sometimes find in iced coffee because um, with all of that ice in there, you know, and the dilution, it really kind of sucks that acidity out of it, and it's either just sweet or, or even sometimes a little astringent really, really good. 
All right, y'all, well, that's it. That's our uh, hybrid flash chill recipe using the Ario Switch. Uh, if y'all like this content and you wanted to see more of it, then please hit that like and subscribe button down below. And we'd love for you to leave us a comment as well, uh, just saying hi, or, uh, or tell us about your Hario Switch experience, if you've made iced coffee doing it, kind of maybe what your recipe is. Um, and of course, any other videos that you want us to do in the future, we always take that into consideration. So thank you so much for watching today. It was great to be with you, uh, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.